What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome to my free to play guide for Mythic Loki's Abyssal, Infernal and Lunatic map with free to play units and absolutely no skill inheritance or sacred seals. So I'm going to be having Ash here and Regan is going to be on the bench because she can't really do much with the counter control Red Mage on the map and opening retainer actually comes in handy because Loki does have the gravity ploy. Then you need to make sure you also have the remix skills of Peony with Gentle Dream Plus and Crossbow Resistance. And then Sather is going to be having her base kit. And so is Ratatosker, who's going to be playing a major role as per usual. So let us begin. This map can be a bit annoying because of the axe armor being really bulky with Weaving Fighter. So you want to have your units like this and you want to start by moving Ash one space. And this way you can teleport and just attack this axe knight. So you actually do quite a bit of damage on Infernal and then you can dance up Sather and simply have her over here. And then you want to go over here with Ratatoster so that you can bait out the Brave Bow Flyer. So doing the damage on the Axe Armor is going to be making Loki heal them up. And that way the Axe Armor is going to be at the very end. So now you can try and take out this Bow Flyer who attacked Ratatoster. It's not going to be big of a deal because she can recover HP and then uh, you just want to have your Sather like this, move your Ash one space down and then dance up so that you can put your Ash one space up and gravity ploy can be pretty annoying and that's why Ash's teleportation is so useful. So here the ruse is going to be happening and now the axe armor actually is going to be on the left side which is really good. So. These two units are going to be attacking and we're easily going to be able to take out this inside attack speed uh, sword fighter. And now you want to go ahead and take out this cavalier with Ash and then dance up Ash and just take out this Troubadour. And then you can also go ahead and take out this green fire with Ratatosker. And then retreat over here, stopping any kind of charge shenanigans of this the lance armor and then Sather can take out this uh, lance fighter with physical null follow up so that's helpful and uh, Sather doesn't really take much damage from this red mage we're gonna be ending the action of that axe armor so it's gonna be trailing behind which is exactly what we want so now we're gonna be going ahead and taking out Loki here with Ratatosker and then we can just dance up Ratatosker and send her over here um, an attack this axe armor Without we can also go ahead and take out this red Fafnir now with Sather and that should be fine so we can just have red Tosker bait out three enemies at the same time and she can certainly do it this axe armor is so bulky even on infernal so we take out that axe fire with wyvern rift we also take out this assault troop axe armor not axe armor lance armor and there we have this ninja coming here so we can take out this axe knight with Sather and then we can just have Ratatoska over here we can just take out ninja easily so that is going to be the infernal solution just taking care of that axe armor at the start is actually a huge thing for this map with free to play units and now let's move on to the abyssal difficulty on the abyssal difficulty you don't really need any kind of sacred seal so again just base kits are going to be doing fine and make sure the order of your team is same as me before entering the map. So on the Abyssal difficulty, the Axe Armor is even more annoying because it has got Deflect Magic. So it's going to be taking a while to take him out. But you still want to start the same way by having Ash one space above. And then Sather teleporting and attacking this Axe Knight. So that Loki is able to heal up this Axe Knight and return him to the backside. And you want to go over here and end the action of this Red Mage. And then you want to bait out this Brave Bow Flyer. So pretty much same as Infernal. But there are going to be some other things that we're going to be doing compared to the Infernal difficulty. So we're going to be getting attacked. And now you just want to take out this Bow Flyer easily. And we do have this Axe Armor all the way at the back. So you want to go down with your Sather and then go down with your Ash, dance her up and move her one space above so she's going to be getting attacked by this blue mage cavalier but she's going to be able to survive and heal up some hp and this troubadour does so much damage on the abyssal difficulty kind of insane even the sword fighter so ratatoster is able to double that guy and we're able to take him out 
So, Yin, you want to take out this Blue Cavalier with your Ash. And then you want to dance up your Ash and take out this Troubadour, who is really annoying with that gravity. And then you want to take out this Lance Fighter. And you also want to take out this Green Flying Mage with the Tosker. And she can just retreat a bit. And this Red Mage, even on the Abyssal difficulty, isn't really going to be doing much. We do end the action of that Lance Armor, so at least it's not going to be charging our way. And Loki is going to be coming on the front lines. She's getting covered by this Axe Knight, which is supremely annoying, but you want to just retreat over here and have your Ash like this and retreat with the Ratatosker. And you can dance up your Sather and just wait so that Loki goes far ahead compared to that Axe Armor and she's no longer getting covered by uh, the near save, which is really, really important. So now we can go ahead and take out Loki pretty easily. And you want to go over here and actually bait out this um, Axe Dragon. So that is going to be important. And because of the green uh, Divine Vein terrain, this Anstite is not able to use the Soul Troop to its full extent. So we can easily be there with uh, Sather and do a lot of damage to this Wyvern Rift Axe Dragon. That Tosker is insanely strong. <laughs> and now we take out this Blue Thief really easily and retreat. And now you can actually go ahead and have your Ash over here. And Rata Tosker is just going to be getting a dance here. And we can have her in this range. So this Lance Armor is really not a problem. We're going to be taking out this Lance Armor easily with uh, Sather by being over here. And we also dance up Sather. And we can just go ahead and attack this Axe Knight actually. Uh, by attacking this mana keat. So you can do that. And that is going to be completely fine. We can just attack this Axe Knight with Sather. Do a lot of damage with Iceberg, but still, it's nowhere it. near enough. So you just want to take on this uh, Red Fafnir with Ratatosker. And now you want to finish off this Fridge, who has been living for a while now. And he's going to be living with 6 HP, but. Rata Tosker's Luna is going to be finishing the job here. So that is going to be the Big Bad Abyssal map. And if you have any kind of trouble, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you, and so will other people. And now let's move on to the Lunatic difficulty. So again, you don't really need any kind of Sacred CL. And on Lunatic map, there's no uh, Brave Bow Flyer. So that's a bit better, as we don't really have to tank that guy with Rata Tosker. So you want to start by taking out this Axe Knight easily. And then you want to dance up Sather and simply just take out this Sword Fighter here. And Sather can easily take on this Blue Mage Cavalier. Yeah, Ruse is going to be happening, but that's not a big deal. So we do that. And then uh, we can actually just go ahead and take out this Red Mage here easily. And over here, dance up Rather Tosker. And she is going to be taking out Loki. So that's done. And then uh, we can just uh, be over here, actually. We don't really want to be in the range of this green flyer. And the Shubador is going to be attacking for a bit of damage. The Lance Armor is not going to be doing much. And now we just have three enemies left. So you can go ahead and take out this Axe Dragon. And then dance up Sather and just take out this Lance Fighter. And then finally put the Shubador out of her misery with Ratatosker, and that is going to be the free-to-play guide. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. You can click the link on the screen right now to check out my breakdown of Mythic Loki's banner, and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because YouTube sub boxes are about as annoying as the Weaving Fighter Axe armor on this map. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.